there, my friend. It is so good to see you today. Welcome back to Northcast Weather School, the show where we take all kinds of complicated meteorology mumbo jumbo and break it down into a fun and easy to understand lesson for kids and adults of all ages. I'm your friendly neighborhood weatherman, Nor'easter Nick. I've got a question for you. I usually do, of course. Have you ever witnessed a day where you can go outside early in the morning and it's cold, you need a heavy jacket, but by the afternoon, the sun comes out and you have the ability to shed those layers and just sit on a park bench and soak it all in? If the answer to that question is yes, you've probably seen your fair share of today's topic, warm fronts. Warm fronts are easy to spot with the naked eye. You just gotta know what to look for. The day can start off sunny and bright and clear, and then gradually through the day, you get the development of these high, thin cirrus clouds that are made up of tiny ice crystals. And they form with the warm air kind of overriding the cooler air, and you'll end up with kind of like a hazy or milky sunshine. Eventually, those clouds will thicken up and they'll get closer to the ground, and that's when you look for the development of precipitation. Now let's break down our storm system to have a better understanding of how it all works. Right here in the middle is our storm system, the low pressure center. Extending on the south side is the cold front, and this red bumpy thing is your warm front. The warm front separates the cool, dry air out ahead of it and the warm, moist air behind it. Think of it kind of like a battlefield with two opposing forces. Since warm air is light and less dense than cold air, it easily rises over it. Unlike how a cold front works, there is no steep wedging. The rise of air is along a gradual slope. This process allows for the formation of clouds, first high up in the air, then lower to the ground. If it's cold enough, in the fall and winter months, you'll see snow and a wintry mix develop. With the shallow air closer to the frontal boundary, you can oftentimes also see the development of fog. In the spring and summer months, very strong thunderstorms can form along that front. These storms are capable of high winds and frequent lightning and even some tornadoes, so it's important to pay very close attention to them. Let's take a look at a real life example of how it all works so you have a better understanding of what exactly you're looking for when you're watching your local TV weather report. Our factors include this warm, moist air down in the south. Generally, winds have some kind of southerly component. And then to the north, you have a cooler, drier air mass. Winds out in the north, northeast, or northwest. And you guys see that right in the middle, right? That red line with these bumps on it, these semicircles. They actually show you the direction that the air is moving. And Generally, warm air will move in from southwest to northeast with a few varying exceptions. Through this process of the warm air overtaking the cold, it's called warm air advection. You'll see clouds, you'll see periodic showers, some thunderstorms, even some severe weather is possible in some circumstances. But when it's all said and done, the sun will come out and anywhere that warm front move through, we'll see temperatures on the rise. So you might start the day off bundled up and chilly and uncomfortable, but by the afternoon, sunshine comes out, warm temperatures prevail, and you find yourself sitting by the pool, sipping on a nice cold glass of iced tea. It can all happen like that. Now, while most cold fronts coming through are harmless, it is still very important to pay close attention to what your local meteorologist has to say, because in some circumstances, severe weather is possible. So always have your plan in place. I hope you walk away with a better understanding of how warm fronts work and you will be ready the next time one comes through your backyard. As always, my friend, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, keep your eyes to the skies. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, subscribe to my channel by clicking this button right here. And if you wanna learn another lesson from Nordcast Weather School, click this video. You can also follow me on all social media platforms. It's at Nor'easter Nick.